Hello guys, I wanted to show you something to add your opinion about this. First, I added the uh, icons. Beastie Week uh, created the code and uh, I added it directly to have uh, everything. Uh, as you can see, this is pretty nice. If you have a modifier, you will have the, re the modifier like this. I will remove it. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to uh, show you is this part. So the goal is to create uh, really fast colors and uh, to be able to uh, give colors on your object. It's different from solo because uh, solo is to isolate uh, some parts and uh, that will not uh, remove the previous shader and this one will remove the previous shader. So uh, when you click so on mat sur on add material, you will have a random color on your object. You will be able to play with the opacity of course because it's really useful if uh, your object for example doesn't have uh, a shader like uh, this one but like this one you will be able to play with the transparency uh, if the object has a shader so this is uh, this is nice uh, you can with control remove everything like this you can clean the data here if you want you can use uh, asset management to add some shaders directly yep to make uh, something nice and if i make my render up i will have my shaders so this is uh, this is really nice and you can uh, combine uh, asset management and uh, companion you also have uh, some fast possibility here with random or with color you can play with the alpha like this and uh, directly add material like this you can play with the plastic like this and yep, play with the alpha and add material okay so um, that come back always in random because I want to uh, make a random on my selection directly like this. So um, I added this part and on this part you can uh, on uh, the selection add this kind of uh, shaders really fast if you want to uh, to give uh, a shader uh, by hand and not by uh, Uh, automatically if you want something like this you can even press shift and click that will add a shader with directly a transparency if i want a shader like this that will be like this and i can play of course uh, on this one so that seems redundant from uh, solo but uh, it's not uh, if you make solo you will have this result and uh, this is uh, to work directly on your object uh, with this solo like this or if you want to uh, make something with shift like this directly and uh, solo doesn't uh, overlap uh, with this one this one is really for modeling uh, really fast modeling and um, maybe i will add uh, some options for example to make uh, so if you press control that will remove it i can uh, i'm thinking about uh, adding uh, uh, this possibility directly uh, here but uh, I'm not sure how to do this, but uh, it's possible, for example, if you click, you have the color, if you shift, you have with transparency, if you control, you have, uh, uh, rem you remove it, maybe uh, Alt will uh, add a metallic shader, uh, control Alt, uh, plastic shader, and, and control Shift, uh, a glass shader, to make uh, everything possible directly with the color here. Um, ta maybe also I can uh, add uh, some uh, colors uh, like this in the preferences like this uh, you can choose uh, some colors but of course uh, you can use uh, asset management to add uh, directly a shader to have uh, a well, uh, way better shader in the render like this this is uh, much better if I select this one control double click yep, là, choose my shader and I will have my shadow. So, um, in fact, you have uh, all the possibilities, but uh, my, my, this video is about uh, those, uh, those parts and uh, to make it uh, much better. Maybe, like I said, I can uh, remove this or maybe add, uh, add uh, this uh, directly here. I don't know.
I don't like going to inside a, a pop-up. I prefer having everything uh, with uh, smart uh, smart uh, keys. And on this one, you have uh, some other possibilities. So tell me what do you think about this and uh, what you see uh, the this tool that can be really useful. So uh, that, tell me.